Let's move on to the topic two that is line and staff functions. Uh, when we talk about line and staff functions, as a HR department, when they try to design an organization structure over our organizations, how do they supposed to work and what are the kind of you know, activity they supposed to do? There are two aspects of looking at it. One is a line function, another one is a staff function. HR department does both the functions very efficiently. When we talk about line functions, uh, you know, this is the difference difference between a line and a staff function. In a line functions, depart, departments or employees of an organization performs core activities and they contribute directly to the business of the firm. And examples, let's say manufacturing department or a marketing department, they does the marketing activity or a manufacturing activity, they directly contribute to the organization developmental activities. So they are called as a line function or lines, uh, you know, kind of, you know, employees. And the second kind of, you know, function is your staff functions. Uh, staff functions department or an employee of a firm that for perform a support function. They don't directly contribute to the overall organization development. They are also, you know, contribute indirectly. That means uh, when we talk about indirectly, let's say take an example, HR or finance department, they don't directly work for the organization development, but uh, they actually, you know, support the HR uh, or they support the other, uh, you know, human resource in such a way that the main core activities can be performed very well. So these are the staff functions. So we, you know, HR department takes care of both line functions as well as the staff functions. So HR essentially, if you look into it, it's more of a staff function and, but they contribute directly to an, you know, line, uh, fun, you know, line staffs and or line, you know, functions activities more efficiently so that the line activities can be performed very well. And the line and staff relationship, if you look into it, uh, earlier actually, you know, the traditional concept was uh, only the line activity has been considered as a major kind of an activity. And, uh, you know, other uh, supporting functional have been given a very, very, you know, uh, second kind of a treatment. But slowly, you know, more and more service concept and service oriented form emerged where, you know, both line and staff functions are most important and without, you know, each other department, they cannot do any core kind of an activity. So that's the way, you know, people realize the importance of both core activities as well as the support functions. So thereby, you know, both needs to support each other. And earlier, if you look into it, actually only the core department used to dominate and the staff department or what you call the other supporting functions used to be at the, you know, second helm of the entire organization. But today, equally, you know, both the department feels, uh, you know, that without, uh, the existence of uh, each department, the other department cannot function. So if you look at the even value chain by Michael Porter also, it talks about the same thing. So your support functions like technology development or administration, HRM, or it could be, let's say, finance, or it could be various procurement, all other functions are acting as a kind of a supporting functions, but without those supporting functions, your core activities like inbound logistics and outbound logistics and process cannot be done at all. And the services also has to be done you know, with a more efficiently with the supporting functions. So these are the ways line and staff relationship actually, you know, been established uh, very closely and line and staff conflict also happens because they have a different, different kind of perception about uh, each of their activities and HR professional has to, you know, bring in a change and uh, they need to, you know, make sure that understand the market and organizations, what exactly the core activity has to be function and to support the core activity, what are the support activities has to be done and they need to be more empathetic, build a trust and transparency and ultimately they need to make sure that win-win approaches, you know, has to be, you know, brought in.